Hey guys, yeah, Greg Christensen here, Grandview Livestock, and you probably know that by now, but um, I, don't know, I was just out here in the pasture uh, searching for a couple of renegades we didn't get in the other day, but I wanted to show you, I got kind of excited about, look at all this native grass, here's some, I don't know if you can see that, here's some, I mean it's just little patches of it everywhere. And places I've never planted, never had native up here. Um, it's never been a part of this property that we live on here that I know of. There's, there's some, there's some. It's just little bunches around. And I'm not a fan of a whole stand of native grass. It's a real short season potent grass I mean it's it's really good for a short period of time but then when you come into fall and winter you don't have much nutrition but I like some of it sprinkled out in the pasture because here this time of year you know it's pretty good um, of course you might have seen some other stuff in here some stuff we've planted what I mean broadcast over the years, you might remember a video last winter. I was broadcasting, um, well, it was some red clover, I think, the, and there you see it. And then there was some alfalfa mixed in there, and you'll see that there. There's a piece of native, some kind of native grass going up there in the middle of it. And of course, we got the giant ragweed here, which uh, sheep and goats love. This pasture, it's been grazed. It's probably been 45 days, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, probably that long um, since it's been grazed. Look how it's come back. It's had some rain, but not what you might say our normal rainfall. I can't tell you how much. I could probably look it up. But uh, I pulled in here and you know, just sort of amazed to see this much native. I've seen a little of it here and there uh, last year, and uh, just it's just from the grazing and rest and grazing and rest that we give it throughout the year. Since we've got this, uh, we call this pasture number three. It's 25 acres. And we never had it really split up to graze it right um, like we do number one, and number two until this year and uh, so this year is the first year we could kind of graze it in separate oh i don't know what's here four five acre paddocks this is about 30 acres probably out here now there's some more some more of that native anyway i hope you all experienced some of the same things with some of your pastures or maybe you haven't got them split up yet that's why I, I like to show this to you to say, hey, uh, in just a very short time, this is what you could be uh, you could be getting. Not to mention how much this has grown up because we haven't had animals on it. You know, we only had them on here for probably oh I don't know. We probably had uh, oh well, it's all those kids and lambs. If you watched uh, the latest video that we weaned, and I think there was 160 ewes with them. And so we probably only had them on here three, four days. Uh, so it got grazed down, but then, you know, and not that short, but then it gets a chance to grow back up for several weeks, uh, you know, months. But we are experiencing some of these sprouts coming back because it seems like they only get grazed off for a short period of time. If we were continuously grazing, like this one when we were continuously grazing this it got killed out because they can come back all during the summer and keep nipping the leaves back off of it but uh, so we're gonna have to monitor that and maybe I don't know, change some of our grazing habits maybe give this this more often in fewer days in between or uh, fewer days at a time I don't know exactly there's a locust sprout. So, 
you know, it's always something you got to manage for, and you never get everything, uh, well, figured out. So, uh, so there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys.